for liberty and for freedom that was given to them and promised to them in the words of the Declaration of Independence that we would be free. The dichotomy of that great struggle, the fruits of all that which generations of us that have preceded us in Louisiana and throughout this nation to create this great nation, came slapping me in the face this year when we were in the legislature. I'm standing there in the legislature and I see a lobbyist walk up to a senator and put his finger in his face and call him off the stand like this. <laughs> if you don't believe me, come join me the next legislature, you lay witness to this. And we did a news conference later that day, and the only words I could reflect on from the history of this great nation is that the oil and gas business have hijacked our democracy. Yes. A democracy that's been hard fought, been paid for, and sweat and blood. Uh, in uh, two weeks, we're going to celebrate the 200th year anniversary of the Battle of New Orleans. Think about that desperate group of people from different backgrounds, some even a pirate. <laughs> That's a new office. I mean, this guy was a legitimate group. <laughs> but he came to the team, and a renegade uh, people call him a general, General Jackson. Most, he wouldn't have made it in the Army today. He used to hang out with the girls, he used to race horses for money. And when the government needed him, they would send him off to go fight the Indians. Uh, came to New Orleans after suffering a, a great injury in a duel uh, with two brothers up in Tennessee because they called his wife uh, a bad word. And he challenged them to a duel, and he went out, they shot each other up, and uh, the rest of the story is history. And he came to New Orleans uh, at the order of the President of the United States, to help defend New Orleans 200 years ago. Again, not well trained, not well organized, but they had one thing, a common purpose. That common purpose was freedom. The common purpose of the Green Army is this, that we have a human right to clean air, clean water, safe land, and 